In this video, you learn how to create this MLB expected value betting model. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now, and I got another expected value betting model for you just in time for MLB opening day. So this is going to be similar to how I've done other expected value models using Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world as our source, dropping that into Excel and then having some formulas to be able to, to debug the odds find our break-even odds, and then use that to do our line shopping to find positive expected value bets. So I have a tab here for money line, spread, and total. And then we have our drop-in tab that we'll get from Pinnacle. And then from that, we'll just select the matchups for each day, and we'll be able to calculate the implied win percentage here and determine if there's any expected value bets or not. And so just at a high level, if you're new to expected value betting, what that is and the the crux of all my models essentially are that the sports books know more than, than we can or have more sophisticated models. And so in order to, to really make money in the long run with sports betting is to say, okay, what, what is the sharpest sports book, the, the tightest line sports book in the world pinnacle saying the odds are finding what those break even odds are with removing the big and then seeing if there's any sports book that's offering longer odds than what the break even percent is. So I'll go through some examples of what that looks like, but just know that anytime that a sports book odds are lower than what the break even odds are, that's a positive expected value bet. So if you think about how you're paid out, if the break even odds are 50%, but a sports book is saying that the odds on that are actually 49%. You're going to get paid out more with that sports book. So you're going to want to place that bet. So that's, that's what expected value betting is, is saying that the sports books know more than any independent model does. Taking that, finding out there's going to be times where all the sports books are going to set lines independently and be able to find out at any good point in time if some sports book is off in their pricing. And then in the long run, you keep placing those bets, you'll make money. So that's that's what we're going to try to achieve here today. So what I've done is created logic where we drop in from Pinnacle the lines for each day, and then we'll update our matchups on this money line tab. That's the blue input cells here. And then that'll pull in all the data for both the money line tab, the spread or handicap tab, and the totals or the over under tab. So really it's just one input of the teams for them each day. And then you could just keep dropping the, those odds in as they change throughout the day. So that's how it works. And let's go ahead and flip over to Pinnacle and look at today. So go to pinnacle.com and you could do whatever sport you're looking at. We're looking at baseball, MLB, and make sure you change it to American odds up here at the top. And then from there, you just take the top left Back down to the bottom right, do a control C to copy it, flip back to Excel, go to the drop in tab, and do a control V. And then the big thing here is you're going to want to do this control and then click the match destination formatting. Because if you don't do that, Excel is going to take this plus 1.5 spread minus 138 and do the math on that versus just taking it at a static text value. And that's what column A in this model's format is just text value. So it's not going to do any of these formulas at the face. It's going to keep that so you can actually see what the spread and the odds are. So that's that's a big piece of the puzzle. And I have some instructions here. But just if you're building this model by yourself and you get hung up on the odds, don't make a lot of sense for the spread calculations. That's just a, a quirk that you've got to do. Make sure they're in text formatting. All right, so we've done that. I'm going to go ahead and clear out these inputs. And so what I've done is we just basically can do a drop down here and just start typing in the matchups for the day. And you can see that the odds are going to start pulling through. So the Angels versus the Orioles. And then if we want to flip back to Pinnacle, we can see that plus 156 minus 170. And that's flowing through our model. And you can put the date in here if you want just to keep track of your, your bets. And we can go through and do a couple of the matchups. And like I said at the intro, you can do this one time. The, the matchups and just co copy and paste throughout the day to get updated odds and do your line shopping to see if any new expected value bets come through. So it's pretty quick. Um, 
you know, I, I don't know if there's anything else we can do as far as making this more automated than just a, a copy paste and make the matchups change throughout the day and you are set. So I'm just going to do a lot of games today for opening day. So let's do a, a handful here. And so we got our money line and then so we We'll convert that to percentages, which is going to call the VIG money line percent. So if we total up the Angels Orioles matchup, you can see we're at 102%. So there's 2% of VIG embedded in those lines. We've got to remove that to know what the true odds are. And that's just a pro rata formula there, just taking 63 divided by the sum of those two and do a pro rata. And then we take the sum of the implied win percentage. You can see we're at 100%. So these are the fair odds. And we convert those to American odds. So plus 161 and minus 161. And then I'm pulling in the market width, which is just the absolute value difference of the, the winner and loser. So plus 156, minus 170, that's 14. And I have math up here where you can change your, your threshold to be whatever you want. Um, I usually say... 50 is a good market width. Um, with MLB, you can see all these are coming in really tight. 21 with the, the Cardinals, the Dodgers. So you're, for professional sports, market width isn't nearly as critical as collegiate sports, especially college basketball. That's a critical piece. But for MLB, you can keep it at 50 or you can basically just say every, any at any given night, um, any team can win and you could just take any money line bet that you want. But that's just a way to kind of factor in some uh, big underdog matchups. And then you can type in your account value, whatever that is, and then your Kelly adjustment factor. Uh, 0.5 or below is what I would recommend. Uh, and from there, we can look and see, go to Sportsbook Review. I think that's a really good website to use for line shopping to see if there's any sportsbook offering longer odds than these break-even odds here. So I'm going to flip over to Sportsbook Review. And then you can just do the drop down. They have all the sports listed. And you can see that we have a point spread tab, a money line tab, and a totals tab. So we're gonna want we'll just start with the money line. And it's gonna highlight in blue the, the longest odds, so the best odds for each one of these matchups. So if you look at the Angels Orioles, plus 165 and minus 177. So we can flip back here plus 161, minus 161. So plus 161. And then we're getting plus 165 on the Angels on bet 365. So there's a positive expected value bet. So plus 165 is longer odds than what we're saying the break-even odds are. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And I have the Kelly criteria built out here so you can know exactly the, the dollar amount to, to bet. That was on bet365. I don't have that actually in the, the model. Let's go ahead and add that real quick. Bet365, and that was plus 165. So $22.13 based on a 5,000 account with a 0.5 Kelly adjustment factor. So what makes this a positive expected value bet? So we're saying that the Angels have a 38.29% chance to win the sports book, in this case, Bet365, is saying that they only have a 37.74% chance. So the implied percentage is greater than the sports book. So when that's the case, that is a positive expected value bet. We're getting value here. So in this case, we're getting plus 165 when we only need plus 162 or above to, to have a positive expected value bet. So we're getting some good value. You can see it's a 1.46% expected value, and we should wager 0.44% of our bankroll. So that's just some of the math behind it, but um, that's a really good bet to place. You can see the market width is, is 14, which is a pretty tight line. So that's a bet you could place right now for opening day and uh, in the long run. Any of these bets that are positive expected value uh, will be profitable in the long run. So that's the money line tab. The spread's going to be very similar. So in this case, we're bringing in our handicap lines, plus 1.5, minus 1.5. And then we got our spread lines. Same thing here. We've got the VIG spread percent. We total that up. It's 102.6. So we got 2.6% of VIG there. We've got to remove that to get back to 100%. And then we'll convert that to the break-even odds. So minus 130, plus 130. We can flip back to 
sportsbook review and see if there's any spread that are positive expected value. So um, the Angels, we got plus 1.5. The longest odds there are minus 130. So we flip back to the model. You can see that essentially we'd have some break-even bets if we took the Bet365 or the Caesars. And so if we want to just plug that in again, the Angels, Bet365, minus 130. It's going to say no bet because it's it's not above, it's not a longer odd than minus 130, but let's say that we were getting 125, minus 125, and there you can see we should wager 53.10. So that's how to, to use the spread, very similar to the money line, and the total is going to be the exact same. So you're going to see the 7.5, and then you'll just do your line shopping based off this minus 103 and plus 103. And like I said, you can... Any point in time throughout the day after you've done your initial drop-ins here, you can copy and paste the pinnacle odds because lines change as they get closer to the matchups or if new news comes out. So, And then sportsbooks themselves can be changing their, their odds throughout the day. So this is something where you could do it once. You could get up in the morning, get your model updated, and be done with it, see if you have any bets, play some. Or if you're able to, maybe around the noon hour, you could do it or right before um, a game starts. So that's that's how to use it. Uh, hope you find this helpful. I do want to say that I have a link for this model in the description. Um, this is going to come with a, a bet tracker and a interactive dashboard here. I've done videos on this specific dashboard. So this you could get a model that has the dashboard. Or if you've already purchase the model with the dashboard and you just want the base MLB expected value model without the dashboard. I have that at a different price point just to recognize that I don't want people having to pay for uh, a bet tracker if they already have one or if they don't use Excel to track your bets. But hopefully you found this helpful um, and good luck with MLB betting. It's uh, There's the most games, longest season. So this is a really critical sport to be betting on. And I hope you've found this helpful and thank you for watching and God bless.